We're getting a new read on inflation today. A key metric used by the Fed shows inflation rose in line with expectations. It's called the PCE, Personal Consumption Expenditures, and its price index increased 0.4% last month and 2.8% for the year. It's the lowest since February of 2021, but still short of what the Fed is looking for before actually lowering interest rates. It's definitely good news for the economy, but... Most Americans don't feel that way. Here's what some voters told us in Michigan and our, while our team was on the ground. Definitely that is not true. It's going up higher and higher and higher with the cost, especially with rent and groceries. How can the average person or the myself be able to live? It does not feel like it's gotten better. Um, it does not feel like um, access to capital, like people's day-to-day -day quality of life has improved. For more, let's bring in Gene Sperling, senior advisor to President Biden and coordinator for the American Rescue Plan. He joins me now from the White House. Gene, good to see you. You know, inflation you. may be falling. Worries of a recession may be fading. Unemployment may remain low. But when it comes to groceries and gas, prices are not coming down. They are just going up at a slower rate. So what do you say to these voters, voters you just heard from there, that are still struggling just to pay those bills? Well, the first thing I want them to know is that there is nobody uh, who is fighting harder for them to have lower cost uh, than the president of the United States. And uh, we understand, you know, it's been a tough few years since the pandemic, and you did have the first ever global uh, shutdown of the economy and then restarting, and you had a war, and there was higher prices everywhere in the world, and the fact that it's a global issue doesn't make somebody feel that much better who's going through a grocery line or uh, uh, pulling up to put their gas in. But I do want people to understand that this recovery has been remarkably resilient. You know, these are not spin, these are facts. You haven't had this low unemployment for this long in 50 years. Uh, growth has remained strong in ways that nobody had previously expected. And inflation is coming down. In fact, it was really 2.4% uh, in this measure, 2.8% if you don't include food uh, and gas. And that's not good enough, but it is very close to normal. And there are a lot of different areas where you have seen prices come down. I think what a lot well, of people gasoline, are Well, gasoline, gasoline's already on the rise, Gene. Gasoline's already on the rise again, and we're not even into the summer driving season. But I do want to take this well, ABC News well, Ipsos poll to you. Let, let me bring you this poll. Yeah. It's from last month. It's pretty brutal for the president when it comes to the economy. Just 13 percent say that they're better off financially since Biden took office. 31 percent of voters approve of the job that he's doing on the economy. But a staggering 71 percent say we're just in bad shape. So whether you agree with them or not, Americans clearly aren't buying the fact well, that we are having, you're, you're, we're in a good place, Gene. We, we have to not confuse things. I was going through what some of the facts are. Those are the facts, okay? Now you're raising a separate issue, which is, you know, people are not telling people in many of these polls that they're as happy. And you have to respect that. Every family is the world's greatest expert of how they're doing. But let's also know that if you look at the Michigan consumer confidence, since October, 25% of people are showing more confidence in the economy. 30, uh, I mean, it's gone up, I'm sorry, there's been a 25% increase in the consumer confidence about the economy, 32% increase on how people think about the future. The New York Federal Reserve survey showed that people had the best three-year expectation by their survey So then survey why don't people recognize that in these polls? Why, why don't people recognize that then in these polls? Well, because I think people have been through a tough few years, and they went through 2022 when the, you had the variants and the global economy was getting back, and they had supply chain issues, and they saw prices come up. And I think it's reasonable for people to feel like it's been a, a somewhat rough few years. And there may be a lag in people starting to say, hey, now I do see that prices are moving in the right direction. And sometimes you have things like eggs or lettuce or milk where prices are going down. People say, yeah, but they're still higher than they were. And I respect that. What I want them to know, though, is that, that 
you know, it's still worth understanding the facts, and it's not wrong to communicate facts about prices are moderating. But what I want them to know is that this president is fighting to lower costs, and the fights that are going on right now are about getting rid of junk fees, price gouging. Uh, uh, the president's brought down prescription drug costs, co prices for insulin. He is fighting to do more on those grounds, fighting to but lower let's talk, child let's just, care let's costs. Bring it, let's, so let's if you bring it want back. to fight about, if you want to talk about what we could do to lower costs for families, it would be to encourage Republicans to work with this president on the multitude of proposals he has made to lower costs, because that's what it's about. Who is going to fight with you and for you to lower lower costs? And we're going to just do everything we can. We're going to respect that people are feeling frustrated, or some people are, but but it doesn't mean that it's also not true that over well, this Joe, last Joe year, people's wages Joe, have gone up more than inflation. That's a the, fact. People may not feel it yet, and I respect that. Everybody, well, people struggling, I respect that. But it doesn't mean we can't talk about what the facts we are, and we well, can't, or fact, that we can't talk are, about prices are who's going up actually, on groceries and gas. But one more question, because Joe Biden keeps slamming Trump uh, and MAGA. But well, Jamie Dimon, who something? you know, you just no, said, but you know Jamie you just Dimon, chairman prices, of... You just said prices let me, let me, are going me, up. Gene, let me to ask you about... To not have prices go up at all would be to have zero inflation or deflation. So let's talk respectably about you know, whether we're near the normal rates of inflation and whether some key areas Wait. are coming down, and they are. And I do respect that people are still feeling some struggles, that it's been a tough few years, and that's why we're still fighting for them. Senior Advisor to President Biden and Coordinator for the American Rescue Plan, Gene Sperling. Thank you, Gene. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.